always great when you start the vlog by forgetting that, uh, remembering that you forgot to close the vlog last week and having to film a clip for that in your pajamas. <laughs> Bob's taking a shower right now. I don't know if we're gonna go do anything today or not. If we are not, I'm gonna go upstairs and do some more sewing, um, but we'll see. We're just having a relaxing morning in uh, with coffee. He made scones this morning, which were delicious raspberry and white chocolate. They're really good. Um, yes, the husband bakes occasionally. Anyway, I'm going to watch a little YouTube while he's in the shower and getting dressed and I will see you guys back in a bit, in a bit, in a bit, in a bit when we figure out what we're doing with our day. I'll be back. Okay guys, it's way too hot for me, but anything over 70 is too hot for me. Anyway, I was able to finish my new, uh, purple top. It needs to cool off so I can wear some of these. That's all I can say about that. Anyway, I love it. Now I need to clean up and decide what scraps I'm going to keep for future projects and which are just going to go in the bin. And uh, yeah, pretty cool. Anyway, I think we're going to eat lunch and then I don't know what's going to happen with the rest of our day, but I'll let you know. I'll be yeah. back. This one, this is a shirt I bought a while back. It actually had long sleeves, which were a little too tight around the upper arm. Also, it had laces down the front, which I liked, but the eyelets started coming out, which I threw away so I can't even show you. It didn't take much to get them out. So I got some of this. So this is elastic lacing loops. You can buy this at the fabric store. I did have a little trouble finding it because unless you do bridal sewing and stuff like that, like I don't think it's like a super popular thing. Um, but I did find some and I took all the eyelets out. I put that on and then I covered up the eyelet holes um, with some pieces from the sleeves. Real cute, plus now short sleeves. I like it, so it's all cool. I'm gonna save this little bit of extra fabric, AKA the sleeves, and put it in my bin with all the other million pieces of fabric. I know. And clean up and go downstairs. He's watching, husband's watching football. So I think I'll join him down there. And yeah, it's all good. I'll be back. Hey guys, I am out this morning, running a few quick errands, including spending my $10 Michael voucher, Michael's voucher. I had another one and I needed some fabric dyeing stuff, the fixative. And of course I got a couple balls of yarn. I wanted to use up the voucher. So anyway, basically I got free yarn. So that's fine. Um, had to run a couple of other random errands. Now we're going to head home and hopefully do some crocheting. So, bumpy. All right, I'll Guys, be back. it is Tuesday afternoon. It's just about 2 o'clock. Babysitting day. Uh, started off the morning with a counseling session. And then shortly thereafter, our junior came over. And after he gets picked up, I will go do some creating and journaling in the art room. So anyway, it's going to be a busy, busy couple of days, but you know, squeeze what I can in when I can. All right. I need two hands. I'll be back. Log really quick while I have a minute apiece. If you hear noise in the background, the cleaning ladies are upstairs um, doing a fabulous job. Love them immensely. Um, we have a workman here installing a big piece of equipment for Bob in the bedroom and the furnace air conditioning people are coming out for the annual inspection, changing filters, all that stuff. They should be here in about 40 minutes or so. We're having just a busy day. It's 10.39 a.m. and I kinda can't ready, can't wait, can't ready. Can't wait for the day to be over, be more peaceful, something, yeah. I'm gonna just sit and crochet, cause it's what I do. I'll be back. Okay, holy cow, guys, that was a crazy morning, but it's just about lunchtime and everybody's done. It was quick, it was hectic, it was anxiety provoking, <laughs> but it's done, everything's cool. I'm actually gonna run to the store because I've changed my mind about what crochet project I wanna do. I started making another blanket for a giveaway or donation and it started turning out so cute. I decided I wanna do a shawl or wrap uh, with the yarn instead of doing a giveaway blanket and um, I can so see me just cuddle up in it and wearing it out 
or at home in the winter. So we're gonna go do that, get some more yarn for that because I don't have enough of the colors I wanna use because um, I was just grabbing random balls from my collection that I had only one of. So we're gonna go do that and then come home and have lunch and I'll nice. be back. It is the end of the day on Thursday and I just paused the TV. That's like the only thing I know how to do with the TV because we have, there's four of them here. There's more than that. I, it's a whole thing. We won't go into it right now, but it's a whole thing. Anyway, it's been a long day filled with babysitting and getting ready to go to California tomorrow. Um, there hasn't been a whole lot of arting going on. I did do some crocheting. Um, trying to figure out how much art stuff to take with me that's not too much stuff because I'm only going to be gone for the weekend. I think I got it figured out. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see if the suitcase closes in the morning. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, um, I am bringing some crocheting with me and a little bit of like daily drawing stuff. That's like all I'm bringing with me. So anyway. I am just sitting down. I did a little bit of crocheting and I'm doing some of my daily puzzles and always on the eye out for inspiration and that sort of thing. I'm not bringing any watercolor stuff with me this trip, but I will be taking photos with the idea of doing some little paintings, if only in my miniature journal, um, when I get back. Because um, the weekend's gonna be pretty busy, filled with visiting friends, um, some California Masonic stuff for my husband, visiting his brother and wife, at least for an hour or so, for a few minutes even, maybe. But yeah, a lot of driving, hence the crocheting. So anyway, uh, yeah. Uh, babysitting with Junior today was great. He was fine. Um, he is very mobile. It is very taxing, but it's a joy. Um, he... <laughs> He does do the whole love bite thing and, you know, because he doesn't have the words and so we're working on that. <laughs> Omar got bitten again today, so there's that. <laughs> anyway, all right, that's it for the minute. I'll be back. You know, right as I decide to turn the camera on, I can't see a dang thing. Hello, Pacific Northwest sunshine. Crazy. Crazy. Anyway, we are headed out. It is 8.40 a.m. on Friday, September... 13th. 13th. Friday the 13th. Oh, God. Um, anyway, we are headed out of town, and we are going to California for the weekend. I have no problem saying that here on camera, because by the time I'm, you guys all find out, I'll be back. So. Nope. You'll be back. I'll be back. I'm going to bring some crochet, of course, with me to do in the airport, on the plane, and in any other downtime. And, um, yeah. So I also have some plans on doing maybe a little bit of thrifting and visiting a little small local yarn shop in Murphy's, California, called Maisie Blue. And if you're in the area, go visit them. Cute little yarn shop. And, um, yeah, I really like their little shop. So, anyway. All right, that's it for the minute. I'll be back. Guys, we made it to California. It's 2.12 p.m. and got our rental car. So now we're gonna go for a drive towards our friend's house. And I don't know, it's a couple hour drive. <laughs> it's, yeah. Something like that, hour It'll and a half a, or something. Uh, two hours, two yeah. and a half hours. So Depends anyway. on traffic, you know how it is. Yeah. It's California. It's Everything's California. busy. There's been lines everywhere. TSA leaving everywhere. PDX was insane. Um, the line to get on the um, shuttle bus when we got here to get to the rental car center was nuts. The line at the rental car counter was insane. Like, it was it, insane. It's, insane. it's just been crazy. Insane. Anyway, so um, in the meantime, I got a lot of crocheting done. So there's that. <laughs> All right. I'll be back. Guys, it is Saturday morning. It's about nine o'clock. I didn't film much yesterday after we got here because we were busy hanging out with friends. But um, let's just say a friend of ours was in a position where he had a bag of yarn from an ex and yeah. So I got the bag of yarn. Now I can't take most of it home. It's literally, hold on. A garbage bag full of yarn 
but I did go through it and pull out a few balls I do want to bring home with me. Thank goodness I brought compression bags. There is things like Classic Elite Yarns Beatrice, um, Cascade Yarns Tweed Cascade, and unnamed balls, including this one, which I love the colors. If you all know what that is, let me know. Um, there's a Vanna's Choice yarn in here. So I'm gonna keep these and bring these home. But today, besides going to visit my favorite little yarn shop, we need to find some place to drop off and donate the rest of that. So, and since I don't live here, that's going to be a little challenging. So we'll see what happens. Anyway, <laughs> waiting for Mr. to get out of the shower and then we're going to go get coffee and breakfast. I'll be back. Hey you guys, that was so great. So I asked the girl at the front desk about the yarn. She knows a little thrift shop here that um, caters to crafty, creative people. And she said they would happily take the yarn. If you bring me the bag, I'll go take it over to them. So I did. Yay! <laughs> One last thing to scratch off your list today. Yes, yes. You don't have to worry about it. Yeah. So if I go driving around, it's not to look for some place to donate it, that yarn to. So. Maybe just go and. Drive. Drive. Do yeah. whatever you want to do. Yeah. All right. I'll be back. busy chatting and shopping, to be honest. I did get um, three skeins of the Noro. I don't know, just Noro yarn. Um, it's the cotton silk blend in this shade range. Um, I'm going to make a wearable for myself out of, out of it. I've been wanting to try it for a long time, but I wanted to go shopping somewhere where I could touch and feel it. Um, it is kind of pricey, but I've been kind of saving up, so... I'm stopping at Dollar General on the way back to Columbia Historic Park. And I don't really shop at Dollar General. We don't have one super close. So let's go walk around and see. I also, of course, stopped and got coffee because, yeah, why not? And I have my crochet with me. So if I get to Columbia Historic Park early and the guys aren't done yet, I can go find someplace cool, maybe the ice cream shop, and I can sit and crochet. It's to I'm totally good with that. All right. I'll be it back. It just looks like a Dollar Tree, but more food. Um, I didn't buy anything because I don't really need anything. Plus, if I'm going to squeeze anything into my suitcase, it'll be yarn. the yarn I bought, not other other stuff. I am looking for a couple of small souvenir things, like another keychain with little charms on it that I can turn into stitch markers like I did the one from the Oregon coast. So, But I'm thinking I'll probably find that in Columbia because they do have a historic park gift shop and... That would be like the kind of souvenir -y kind of thing they would have there. So anyway, we'll go see. Anyway, we're going to head that way. It's going to take about an hour to get there. And that's fine. I've got my iced coffee. Got some cool music. And I'm not in any hurry. So probably going to get there early. But, you know, it is what it is. I'll be back. Hey guys, I haven't filmed much while we've been here because we're the hotel Wi-Fi is trying to connect to my phone while I'm trying to film and talk to y'all. Mm, shit happens. Yeah, I mean, Any stuff happens. <laughs> anyway, um, I haven't filmed a lot because we have been just visiting with friends and chatting, and we just got back from a dinner, um, and it's been a lot of fun. Um, I have to say, um, I have made um, four of the squares for the current project. I'll put a picture here and I'm working on five. I'm hoping to get eight, but I don't know if I have enough of one of the colors of yarn, but we'll see. Um, and yeah, how am I, I going to attach them and edge? I have no idea. But that's the thing. Anyway, it's tomorrow, Gina's problem mm -hmm. or Monday or Tuesday or some other day. Yep. Tomorrow we are going to go on a, another drive towards Sacramento. We are going home tomorrow, but we're going to stop and drop in on my brother-in-law and his wife and do some stuff over there. But that's for the next vlog. 
anyway that's on sunday on sunday um don't forget to check out the video description and relevant links and um you know be creative when you can it's tough sometimes to squeeze even five minutes in but if i can you can believe me all right that's it for right now don't forget to go out have a great day do something nice for yourself because you deserve it i'll see you later bye